Well, earlier I spoke to Anita Prem, whose charity Freedom campaigns on the issue of so-called honour killings. There are a number of cases where parents are committing horrendous abuse, child abuse in the case of Shafilia Ahmed and murder. I think it is a lot more common than we have any idea. But in the case of Shafilia Ahmed, she did tell her friends, she did tell her teachers, people did know things were going on, and it seems there was a failing on so many levels. So you believe that her murder could have been prevented? Absolutely. I mean, we've got you know, things in place now as a charity, Freedom Charity, to prevent things like this happening. We are doing a big schools programme where we're going to, into every school in the UK talking about forced marriage and prevention. We have a 24-7 helpline, that wasn't available then to her, a 24-7 text line, we have an app, a Freedom app, which has the signs of forced marriage and child abuse and who to contact, and we've got the book, but it's not fair, it's going into every school for every teenager to read, and her best friends would have known what to do had they read the book and had they had the help that freedom can offer to them. This was essentially an extreme case, wasn't it, of a, a clash of cultures of a young woman who wanted to adopt the more Western lifestyle of those around her and her parents who wanted to maintain their own community and the way they would have behaved in rural Pakistan. Is that a widespread problem across the UK? Well, even in Pakistan, for them to have murdered her daughter for wanting her, them, her, for her to have basic human rights and basic freedoms would be seen wrong in any culture, in any environment. And I think it is quite common that parents are abusing, a wider family are abusing young boys and girls who, who show that they need to have the rights to have basic human rights that we're all entitled to. She was, a, she was born in the UK and she's entitled to the same rights as you and I. What actually constitutes a forced marriage? Because, of course, in some cultures, an arranged marriage is the norm, isn't it? An arranged marriage is very different. A forced marriage is when one or both parties are put under any kind of duress and forced into that marriage. There is a very big difference, and we welcome the criminalisation of forced marriage in the UK when it finally comes in. What is actually happening in the UK as far as campaigning goes to, to end the forced marriage situation? Well, charities like Freedom Charity go into schools, go into organisations and talk about what a forced marriage is and how it's only, it can only ever be a very bad thing. And in young people, when we talk about forced marriage, we're talking about child abuse. Forced marriages happen to people as young as five and as old as 89 is the oldest case we've heard, heard of, to boys and girls, and not just a Pakistani origin. It's across the board in a number of countries and cultures.